Hey guys, what's going on? Benji here. I got something, something long overdue. So, good friend of mine, very positive, very nice person in the community. I'm sure you guys have heard, um, you've heard me say his name a few times, and as far as other people, um, I know I hear him on other channels too. You're a popular dude, DJ Wells. Um, super nice guy, super giving, super positive. Um, he made a, I've, I've had videos of this all the time, you guys have seen it a bunch of times, my Corn Horn inspired MHS uh, hilt that he made for me and I customized and went to town and had the greatest install ever. That's the only install I've had in the last like year that was just like super fun, no problems. <laughs> but um, he made one himself and I was like, oh my gosh, I need it, it's beautiful, can I have one please? And he was like, I'm not making them uh, to sell or anything like that. And then I was like, no, that's understandable. I totally see where you're, you know, <clears throat> same here on some builds. And then uh, not long after, he just messaged me out of the blue and was like, I sent you it. You, you like, enjoy. And I was like, wait, what? So super cool. Wrote me a hand note and everything. Um, I'm going to have to write you a note now, dude. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I've been wanting to return the favor for a, a long time. And um, I never really knew what, because that, that um, Corn Ryan Horn speeder bike gift was, was very thoughtful and very cool. That I didn't want to just like, um, you know, like throw him some money or like, or you know, like, hey man, I made you this cool thing that I don't know if you like or not. <laughs> so I just I wanted I I wasn't sure on what what to uh, what to get him that he would enjoy. So I made sorry guys, computer, it's a little dark in here. I made a um, one of my first attempts at a wood veneer hilt. I've been on this huge kick of wood veneer. I've been loving wrapping sabers in wood veneer once I figured it out. But before that, I didn't know the right veneer, and I had this other piece that I got from Home Depot that was like uh, it was like a free sample. I talked about it in one of my videos. I was in line with like a little free sample that looked looked like wood, but it was kind of a material fabric, kind of plasticky thing. And I was, and she was like, you know, you don't have to pay for that. You can just leave. And I was like, woohoo! And I ran out. I was like, I got a free leather wood wrap or whatever it was it, it looked cool but the thing is i weathered this hilt and i had that wrap on there and um tj loved it he was like oh my gosh it's gorgeous i would love to have a hilt like that and then i was like thank you like i finally know <laughs> i finally know what i can do to repay you so um or not repay him but you know like a gift exchange so he um he was like super cool about it obviously because i always felt bad i was like man i got all these hilts that i'm working on I don't want him to think that I'm like skipping over him or whatever the you know I, I don't know it's just one of those things where I was like I really wanted to get him something nice before I kept on building all my stuff and the thing is with my a lot of my hilts I um I plan out like a head like a year in advance man most of the times I'm still building sabers that I bought all the parts for you know months ago but uh anyway so what I just wanted to do was get him something that was installed since it took so long, I was like, oh, I'm, you know, I might not be crazy, but I'm just going to get you something, something cool. And, uh, Neo Pixel connectors were out of stock, you know, I had commissions, I had a lot of stuff going on. But I finally got this taken care of. This has a Verso in it, which I got from Daniel Spencer. I actually got this hilt from Daniel, Sp Daniel Spencer as well, from Old Scroll Sabres. Y'all check out his, um, Instagram, it's on Facebook. Daniel's a cool dude, great guy in the community, one of my scrap bros. I love you a lot, brother. Um, so he in a trade gave me this and then later on down the road i was like all right i'm gonna i'm gonna do some stuff with it and then tj loved it and then it was just like it kept on going in the right direction so um uh did all the weathering did this um brass and copper inlays in like milled sections which has become a favorite thing from <laughs> another thing that i'm like i like to do that a lot so i did that on this one i kind of gave it the same treatment so that's what I was telling TJ. I was like, "Yo, dog, we got brothers, brothers, sister sabers, whatever you want to call them. Look at these things. They look so good together, man." And I'm hoping, I'm hoping to have mine installed someday. So cool. Anyways, so the Verso is a very basic board. Um, and thanks again, man, to uh, Mark Bell. Mark Bell, if you're watching, I appreciate you, brother. I went on to the Verso 
page and I was like, hey guys, like I'm having problems switching over sound fonts and stuff like that. And I don't really know what's going on and he showed me how to do it. Um, so I'm going to be playing with that later. This, however, has a stock sound font on it. TJ, if you want to learn how to switch, swap fonts, I'll hopefully know by then. <laughs> so I'll, I'll walk you through it. But I'm going to go ahead and power this up. I've been talking a lot about this because this is just a special... This, this is this is their story behind this. This is not just a hilt that I'm like, hey, look, guys, I did a, a Saber Forge Reliant Gen 1. This is their story behind this. Like, this is something that, that um, is going to make me very happy to go to somebody who will really love it. And I hope you do, um, TJ. So this is a Saber Forge Gen 1 Reliant. They used to get them. Oh, yeah, and I dirtied this sucker up, too, because it was a scratch and dent. So it had dents and scratches and um, things weren't aligned that well and I was like alright well let's just get crazy with Greeblies and call her a day but um yeah I, I wanted to get one of these hilts a long time ago uh, there's a there was an installer <laughs> Jordan Mall I'm sure everyone knows about Jordan Mall if you don't you've probably heard his name um, he got me twice a lot of people unfortunately seemed like a nice guy and probably just got way in over his head and really put a bad bad time on the community um, for overdue installs and that's a whole nother video but he used to take these and make Venzalo hilts and that's what I wanted to do with it so when I got it that was my whole thing was I was like you never see these gen ones so this is kind of a rare saver and um, after a while looking at it, and then I got my Venzalo, I was like, I, I don't really, I don't really need the Venzalo this. So I was like, I'm an old Republican. This is kind of my take on an old Republic hill. All right, sorry guys. Very long conversation on the hill. Six, seven minutes. I mean, it's a verso. It's only got one sound font. You guys don't really need to see a blade demo craziness, but we will. Got the smooth swing. That's uh, Verso's Smooth Swing Board. It's a very, very beginner style board. It's awesome. Easy to solder up. Easy to do. Swings, clashes, clash on clash, and color change. I love it on green, man. I'm a sucker for green. Brown, like leather or wood, brass, and green. My favorite combos, man. I know that's with uh, Joss, too. My other scrap, bro. Joss is the same about that kind of stuff. That looks great, man. I went uh, Verso with it. Um, it's only the second Verso I've ever done. But I went with a Verso. Uh, your blade retention is right, Sean. I went Verso with it because it has a one button. I could have done two little dumb tactiles, but I was like, you know what? This is uh, I had the extra Verso that I got from Daniel, who really supplied it because of his hilt. He was like, I want you to have a board to go with it. Um, because he saw what I did, and he was he was like, it looks awesome. He's super supportive. I'm telling you guys, it's good to have good friends in the hobby, man. All right, but um, the verso. Hopefully, after all the craziness, will be updatable, and maybe get maybe it'll get like a blaster lockup, you know, one button function type thing. Um, I I know accent swings would be really good, uh, greatly improve this board. I was in a deep sleep real quick. Let's get to that green. I'll say one thing about this saber. It's the most comfortable saber <laughs> I think that's been in my collection. It's so it's slim 
has a great choke point right here. It chokes on your fingers, two hands, and it grips. This this is one of the most comfortable sabers I've, I've ever had to swing around. So again, color changing on the fly, you double tap the button. I can do it. A yellow, more like a lime green, though. Uh, well, oh. sorry, my blade's not for dueling, so smacking it doesn't always produce the best clashes. I'm more of a show guy, anyways, than I am a a dueler like some of you madmen out there smacking these things around so yeah put the little cut up clamp card in there she is beautiful got a lot of compliments on this one I mean just look at her Sad to see her go, but happy she's going to somebody that will like her. I feel like this is long overdue. I feel I feel like I was late on Christmas. <laughs> I'm like, hey man, here's a present for you. But I mean, I love the way that looks, man. I'm always been a sucker for this emitter, the little slit. This saber is just, it was, it, like, it's perfect for this setup, for a wood wrap and some things going on. I mean, this is we're already milled in sections. Same with these little copper. There were two holes, two holes. I've been some copper bars, filled out some holes to put them in. Weathering on it, I went kind of crazy, man. And, um, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I like it weathered. I mean, come on, man. That looks great. Look at that. So yeah. Oh, there's also a mute function. You hold that down till it beeps. Or whatever the sound is. That was kind of like a hiss or something. You got mute mode. So you won't wake up the wife or the girlfriend or the kids. We can sneak up on them and just whoa. That's what I do. Power it down and then hold it again and you're back. Looks good in the blue too. I mean, who are we kidding, man? This hill looks great in all colors. That's right, I'll toot my own horn. Really, it's the design. My computer just got blue. Hmm. Alright, and this blade plug I made, this is mine. Sorry, sorry, bro, I didn't have a, I don't have a connector. It's something I forgot. If you want me to make you a blade plug, hit me up, man. I, I don't mind doing them. Blade plugs are fun. Um, it only cost me, you know, the connector, bottom connector piece and some stock. And I might have some blade stock somewhere around here. Um, some one-inch blade stock. But, um, yeah, man, um, I hope you dig it. I'm going to hold on to it for the weekend, make sure everything's smooth. Oh, let me show you how to, I don't even know if I showed you. Did I show you? I might not have showed you in the video. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I did a whole video for this 
beforehand, and um, and then I ended up deleting it because <laughs> the battery was low. So like every time I put turn the blade on, it was like crystal or like critical or whatever. So that's it'll tell you the verso will tell you when the saber is um, low on battery. It will just like straight up like a voice alert will be like crystal core and then it'll stop so um the pommel is pressure fit so i put you just get like a screwdriver i got like a little one to get it in there and fry it up and then i get like another one kind of an extra step sorry about that um and then i have like just double-sided tape that's wrapped around the inside of this um pommel because there are no threads i think this pommel is designed to have a cover tech hold this on but I don't even think this is the right pommel but it worked well so this works really well if you just roll with it just like every other sled pop it like that it's a removable battery you slide it out SD cards right there boom it's not the prettiest man I'm sorry I tried to get it nice but once I got the board in there is so freaking close to the wall I ended up putting some electrical tape to cover your leads just in case yeah you pull it all the way out you can untwist it and then you can get that um, you can get that battery popped out what I did was I made a little hole in the chassis for you to once it's all the way out and laying on the table a little chopstick and boop, push that battery and then one side will pop out and there you go replace it put it back in um, Whoop. Just get your board. Um, figure out, you'll feel the grooves. Kind of twist it back up. Oh man, come on now. There we go. See, I think it was touching the wall there. I'll go in and ch double check, make sure you're still good, man. Just super tight in there. This is a one-piece design, so, um, I mean, I guess that's why they changed up the design. It's just so, so tight in there, and Saber Forge never used chassis at this time, so to have a chassis in there, removable battery, speaker and a board it was very very tight this is cram flu but um yeah man it'll do the trick I love the way that looks all right so thank you guys so much watching uh for watching tj again um love you man thank you for for such an awesome gift it's one of my favorites it's the one i swing around very very often I show off to many people and they're like it's a speeder bike handle I'm like yeah dude um but uh and then I even we even, I even started the Cornhorn Sons of Corellia uh <laughs> for a Cornhorn Facebook page um and he's on there obviously and a bunch of other good builders and love, love people who are big fans of the Cornhorn Coran Horn style like speeder bike um handle so I will definitely send you this video here once it's uploaded and um i'll let you know when i'm going to ship it on out make sure everything's good to go on this and i can't wait to see um what you think about it man all right guys so that'll do it for this video um i might i have a couple more builds i may take some time though i've been doing a lot of lightsabers lots of videos lots of other stuff um lots of saber font reviews uh i've been non-stop at this desk for three weeks <laughs> so I may be taking the weekend off um, and kind of chilling for a bit but um, yeah I do have some more builds coming as soon as parts come in it'll be a lot of fun and um, we can we can get fancy together <laughs> sorry guys I can't I can't go a video without saying it if it bothers you you know what man if anything I say or do bothers you deal with it oh boy I don't care Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you next time.